Today we want to take a look at a problem that involves the ideal gas law and, you know, um, basically pressures, temperatures, volumes, that kind of thing. And it's, it's a good problem for practice, you know, con converting between units and dealing with large numbers and that, that sort of thing, I suppose. So we'll take a look at it. So a physics lecture room at one atmosphere of pressure in 27 degrees Celsius has a volume of 216 meters cubed. Use the ideal gas law to estimate the number of air molecules in the room. Assume it's all uh, nitrogen, which isn't much good if you want to uh, do any breathing in the room. And calculate the particle density, uh, that is to say the number of N2 molecules per cubic centimeter in the room, and the mass of the air. So there are the three parts of the question that we want to work out. So we're already told in the question that this is a problem based on the ideal gas law. So the first thing we want to do then is write the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT. So the product of the pressure and the volume of gas is equal to the number of moles of that gas present times the um, gas constant times the temperature. So the temperature is 27 degrees Celsius, um, as we're given in the problem. What we want to do first of all then is, you know, convert that to SI units. So we need to add 273 onto that to give us 300 Kelvin for the temperature. And we also were given the pressure in terms of atmosphere. So we need to convert that then into um, SI units for pressure. So that's 1.013 by 10 to the 5 Pascals. Um, so I've circled the N up the top there just to let us know that that's the number of moles. So now to solve this first part of the problem, which is how many molecules of gas are there in the room, we solve for N. And small N here, which I've circled, is the number of moles in the room. So we'll solve for that then and we get PV over RT. So when we plug in the numbers there, our P is going to be 1.013 by 10 to the 5 Pascals, as we've had already. Our V is 216 meters cubed, as is given to us in the question. Our R is 8.314 uh, by 10, uh, sorry, joules per mole per Kelvin. And bonus points for anybody who knew the, the units of the, the gas constant off the top of their head. And the temperature, no bonus points here for knowing the, the units of temperature, uh, are Kelvin. So now it's just a matter of putting these numbers into their cal your calculator and we get an answer of 8,773 uh, moles. So that's just the number of moles in the room. What we're really interested in or what the question asks us for is the number of molecules in the room. So in order to make that conversion then we write n equals n times n which is a really <laughs> useful equation. Um, but a very a slightly confusing one. And you, you do run into this problem in physics quite a lot where the notation tends to repeat itself. So what do we mean by n equals n times n here? Well, the capital N that we're solving for is the number of, let me just move up, number of molecules in the room. The small n is the number of moles in the room. So big N means number of molecules, small n means number of moles, and then Na means Avogadro's number. So all we're saying here is that if we want to, to find the number of molecules in the room, we just multiply the number of moles by Avogadro's number. The notation is awkward, but unfortunately there's not really that much getting around it. So when we multiply 8773 moles by 6.022 by 10 to the power of 23 um, per mole, so molecules per mole uh, is the units of, of Avogadro's number, or just per mole if you like, we get an answer of 5.28 by 10 to the power of 27 uh, molecules. So we've got a total of 5.28 by 10 to the 27 molecules of nitrogen in the room. And that's the first part of this problem done. So the second part of uh, the, the question then is, OK, we've got that number of molecules, but what's the density of molecules in the room? So how many molecules per centimeter cubed are in the room. So typically, you know, when we're talking about atoms, atomic densities or molecular densities, they're quoted in per centimeter cubed rather than per meter cubed. So we're given the volume of the room. If we wanted to, to solve for the number of uh, molecules per meter per unit volume, we divide the number of molecules by the volume. But we first need to make that conversion between meters cubed and centimeters cubed. And a lot of people have trouble with these these conversions so our volume is 216 meters cubed then we convert 
by knowing that one centimeter cubed divided by 10 to the minus six meters cubed gives us our conversion factor. And that gives us 2.16 by 10 to the eight uh, centimeters cubed as our volume. So now it's quite straightforward to get from that to the number of the, the density, if you like, of uh, um, nitrogen atoms in the room. We just divide the number of molecules that we calculated in the previous part by the uh, number of centimeters cubed or the volume of the room in centimeters cubed uh, on the bottom here. And we get uh, 2.45 by 10 to the 19 molecules per meter or sorry, per centimeter cubed as our uh, density of molecules per centimeter cubed. So that's how many molecules per centimeter cubed we have. And the last part of this question then is to calculate the total mass of the air in the room. So we've got uh, the, the number of molecules per centimeter cubed. Now we wanna figure out what's the mass of the air in the room. So again, another awkward equation here. So we've got M equals N times N. So small M in this, in this case is gonna be the total mass of the air in the room. N is gonna be the number of moles, excuse me, in the room. And then big M is the molar mass of uh, nitrogen or the mass of one mole of nitrogen. So this is again, it's, it's, you know, all of these calculations are quite straightforward. So long as you keep an eye on the notation and all these N's and M's and big N's and small N's and subscripted N's and all that sort of stuff. So once you keep your eye on the notation and once you don't make any calculational errors, you know, going from centimeters cubed to meters cubed and that sort of thing. Typically, you'll be safe enough. So the, the theory is not that hard. It's just executing um, mathematically that's slightly challenging here. So the total mass is equal to the, the number of moles times the mass of one mole. Straightforward enough. So we've got 8,773 moles and we've got uh, a molar mass of nitrogen of 28.014 by 10 to the minus three kilograms per mole. Multiply the two of those together then, and that's gonna give us a total mass of nitrogen in the room of 246 kilograms. So in our 216 meter cubed lecture hall, even though it might be surprising, you know, when you're looking around, there are a total of 246 kilograms of air in that space.